Hey, Don here. Okay, another day. Back on trying to fix this blazer where I can drive it. I'm gonna get the air cleaner off. Get it out of the way. Usually I always leave it up on the truck somewhere, but I gotta get it out of the way this time. Okay. Yeah, no point in starting it and warming things up. I'm going to take the carburetor off because I didn't want to if I didn't have to, but I have to. I'll take it off so that I can, uh, ah, I don't have a, let's see. I didn't get my little, I got my 3.8 socket set, well that'll fit it. I was going to say I don't have a nut driver, and I don't, but I can use that ratchet and then, I got a screwdriver too. But I'm lazy, I don't like to use screwdrivers. They always want to fall out of the slot. Get it, get it loose. If I can turn it, use this uh, extension like a nut driver. Should be good. My hands hurt so much that I can't do a lot of things. I go get a paper towel out of the paper towel rack and get <laughs> like the, killed me. Just things you don't expect to hurt, you know. I'm not used to it. From all this, this is not getting up. This is two weeks now, I think. I, I, I was mixed up to the desk thinking I'd been working on it for two weeks, but I think this is the second week. I'll probably have to go back and look at something to figure that out. Like, I don't know what. All my videos, my first video on this will tell me exactly how long I've been working on it. Yeah, all that work. Oh, that's moving already. I don't know if you can see it, but that deal that I tried to stick in place with gasket sealer. Usually, I mean, if you got it, and I've got it super tight. Oh yeah, maybe my new carburetor kit will have what I need to stop that from happening. We'll hope so. Try to get that off. I'll try the gloves. That way you can punish your hands more without cutting them. It's always the clamps that get you. There we go. Oh yeah, I got a little on my glove. I'll get it off real quick. Okay. Uh, the um, let me see if I can put this. Keep it from dripping on me the whole time I'm working. I guess if I put it under there, it'll be all right. Might drip a little more, but it's all right. Drip a little down on that greasy valve cover. Yeah, now that I saw how pretty those little hold downs for the valve covers got when I got the grease off, I want to clean the valve covers off. I've, read, I've seen online different ways to get uh, clean up chrome, you know, like, say there's some stuff you can buy that's supposed to be real good. I saw them using it on a motorcycle wheel. I don't remember what it was, but I saved the video in my favorites or stuff. Bookmarks. And uh, vinegar is supposed to be pretty good at, I've never tried it, but it's supposed to be good at i seen a guy that does body shop work, actually over here in Dallas, um, that use uh, vinegar-soaked body panels and stuff, like off a Mustang, I think. And it did remarkably well. So, if I get to where I actually get it running and driving, would that be nice to clean stuff up, too? Of course, if I already have them off, I'm, I might do that, you know, like, if I had, I just don't have a big tub to throw them in. If I could take these valve covers off and throw them in a big tub and soak them, vinegar's pretty cheap. Soak them in vinegar and then just polish them up with Scotch Brite. Uh, I mean, you could just you could just wipe them down by hand, you know, scrub them. <laughs> Rust Buster cleans them really good, but that's too expensive to use for that. But, um, mosquito. I might have to put on, I didn't put on any mosquito repellent. They start biting me, I will. Anyway, there's a little rust on the top and. I just thought, well, you know, nothing you can really do but kind of send it, you know, use scotch brite, maybe a little sandpaper, and then paint it. But actually, you might be able to get enough off that it won't show hardly. Anyway, uh, carburetor's coming off. I'm trying to think. I can end up needing wire cutters, too. Might be able to just break that with my needle nose. I'm trying to get everything I thought I would need. Didn't. My tray of tools is too big. I was saying that the other day. I used to have it. Well, my tool tray in the truck actually is the one. The one there we go. No problem. Is the one that I used to set on the 
right up here we're right here that's where I've got my end wrenches sitting got my socket tray and my other junk that I did get out sitting on my little ladder tray behind this camera okay uh, I'll get everything off that needs to be off first and then I'll unbolt it you know and I don't think I didn't if I remember right once I get it off I'll see how old it looks if I remember right that last kit I bought didn't come with a, a base gasket you know the manifold gasket and so I actually have some gasket maker oh god there's a hundred mosquitoes up in here I'm gonna have to go put some stuff on dang things all right let's go do that I'll turn this off till I come back this video Get my little drop light, I may need it.